delivery of a dummy, a pheasant, a partridge, a grouse, a rabbit, a hare, a goose, whatever your dog has retrieved, is one of those areas where it's very easy just to get by, to make do. And you frequently see on shoots people scrabbling on the ground when their dog comes back to them because the dog has either put the retrieve down or is dropping its head. Uh, and actually, if you're, if you're the person shooting, that's quite difficult because you've got a, a gun over your arm and you're bending down and potentially the barrels are going into the mud and you really don't want it. So one of the things I'm really particular about is teaching my dogs a very good delivery. I want the dog to come nice and fast into me. When I'm teaching him, I want him to sit in front of me, hold his head up and wait for me to put my hands onto the retrieve and then on a clear command, let go of it. Now, dogs are, Labradors are natural retrievers. They're not necessarily natural deliverers. And one of the problems is that when a dog has done a, a good and exciting piece of work for him, he tends to think that what he's retrieved is his. And you have to be really quite careful as to how you take it away and how you reward the dog. And I think if you work hard in your training and you do that training initially on dummies and then carry it through, to the start of the shooting season, then you have a dog with a, a really good delivery that you can be proud of and it, it just makes your life easier as well as looking a bit smarter. So I'm very particular, I spend a bit of time just sitting the dog, calling it into me with no retrieve and it will sit in front of me. Then I'll sit the dog up, very carefully place the dummy in its mouth, reward it, praise it for holding the dummy, walk away from it, call it into me then send the dog for a simple retrieve and again just keep paying attention to the real niceties of it. Make sure the dog's coming in absolutely square to me and if he's not move back a couple of steps. Yep. I tend to stand a little bit like Donald Duck with my feet slightly apart and my hands slightly out at the side just to funnel the dog into me and if you can really work on that as initially as a specific exercise but then incorporate it into all your retrieving, you'll have a dog with a really nice delivery and you'll, you'll look good, you'll look smart.